All right, starting off where the last one ended, it's High Sierra time. We are fueled, locked, loaded. John, Nick, and I, flight of three Kit Foxes, High Sierra, here we come. Oh, side note, no one knows that my Kit Fox is done, so it's gonna be a little surprise up there. I've been social media quiet, so here we go. High Sierra, here we come. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. We made it to High Sierra. I didn't film anything because right when we landed last night, right at sunset, Quinn called last chance for qualifying for the stole drags. I'm loaded out the brim. I had like a hundred pounds of bags in my plane. I haven't even flown the thing hard. I don't, I, I haven't practiced or anything. I got to qualify. So I jumped in, ended up qualifying seventh, which for not knowing the plane, I'm pretty proud of. But uh, now we're heading over to the pilot briefing, figure out what the plan is for today. We'll get going here in about five minutes. And so anyway, welcome to a Saturday morning at Dead Cow. Hey Nick, uh, why are you so dusty? <laughs> Trying to one wheel. I think she definitely have two. Thing. <laughs> Jesus. Just look at that caliber of aviators that this event's bringing this year. It's incredible. It's nuts. Hey, so let's get this show going here. Uh, so we are Saturday, dead cow, high Sierra flying. Today is the round of 16 for our world championship stole drag races. When we started this whole stole drag thing, it was like, wow, you know, how can we make traditional stole cooler? Well, you can't. Traditional stole is awesome. It's already really cool. <laughs> Enter stole drag. Wow, how can we do that safe? We don't want to go down and make turns in the sky. We want to go down to a far line. We gotta make sure we stop on heading. We gotta make sure that we enter the stole portion of it so that you gotta land on or after the line. You gotta stop on heading. You gotta come to a complete stop. We spin around, we come back, we come all the way back down to do the same thing. You land on or after that line, come to a complete stop, tail down. First guy that comes to a complete stop wins. And I sit and think, man, I, should Draco just do a demo so it, so you know, oh man, no! Draco was pushed aviation. When's the last time aviation was pushed the way general aviation is being pushed right now with these companies that are having epic sales, be it Cub Crafters, Kit Fox, just. Backcountry flying is booming. <gasps> And now you have the Patey boys with their creations and you bring Draco. Aviation is just advanced. It's an awesome time to be part of backcountry aviation. What we've done is we've taken one, we'll be versing nine, two, we'll be versing ten, etc. etc. So, what we have the people racing are uh, in race one. We have Mike Patey versus Ty Furk, and you are so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And race eight is Palmer versus Palmer. Trent versus Scott. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, the whole group, are out flying, having fun. Look at how many planes there are here. What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight airplanes at Watering Hole, or sorry, uh, Bonham Ranch. We were just at Watering Hole. Awesome. That plane, what do you think? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. John! <laughs> and what about power? Oh, it's like <laughs> the best. It's literally just pull and just keep going. <laughs> it's so cool. God, look at that thing. 
Man, that looked good. What'd you guys well, think? Yeah, it's yeah. awesome, man. We're, we're, how does it get any better? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the kit boxes are up here. This is your first time in here. Yeah, it is. With the passenger. It was pretty sweet. So all your guys' first yeah, times here, yeah. except for Haley and I and Matt. Yeah. Always a first time, Trent. All right, got four kit boxes on skate ramp, 180 circle, and that's why you don't fly 180s, but I think it's time to head back. Uh, it is 11.10, everything starts at Dead Cow at 11.30, so we gotta get down there, Stoll Drags, they're doing an air show. Breakfast. And breakfast. Haley and I haven't eaten yet. No. Time to go eat. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like a roller coaster. Ugh. How fun is that though? That was super fun. I just my eyes were shut the whole time. <laughs> oh, it's just it doesn't get old. Where it's like just oh. here and pull back and it Look just at, they're glistening. This thing is so great. It's like a Tesla. It's crazy, right? All digital. Watch this. So if we go here, I just hit level. Now the autopilot's flying. Look at the stick. Wow. So that's all you'd have to do if I was ever to like die. Thank you. And it's just gonna go. <gasps> What's that? Me turning off the autopilot. Oh my God, that is not a nice jingle. And dead cow traffic, Freedom Fox, fight of four, five miles to the east. I uh, got a 180 right in front of us. We're gonna be entering right traffic for landing dead cow. Dead cow, yellow camp, flight of three. All right, back at Dead Cow after our little outing. Haley's first time in the plane, actually yes. since the engine out. She hasn't been even in with the new interior. It's like a whole new plane. No, it's incredible. I'm like, I love it. I'm lucky yeah. girl. Now maybe she'll actually go flying with me more and be in more of the videos, huh? Well, yeah, because now it's like luxurious kind of feeling. I mean, it was fine before, but it flies different. It feels safer for yeah. some reason. It's got a lot more power and yeah, it's that just new motor. Off. But anyway, we're going to go try to grab some breakfast really quick. Stole drags start supposed to be now looks like it's a little delayed so hopefully we'll get some breakfast in and then go race as you can tell he's very comfortable Racing a FX3, what is that thing? Three hundred thousand dollars.
Okay, Mark, I'm going to get you in the right lane, please, and Trent, can you bugger off to the left? On the arm drive, boys. Three, two, one, see ya. Twice by this guy. Well, tied once. <laughs> tied me. Uh, yeah. I, I was, uh, I literally went on the second round when I knew you won. I was cheering. I was screaming on the microphone. I mean, uh, there could be a better guy. Oh, and you so earned it. Stoked. I mean, so stoked. So stoked. To be, to, to tie and then go again that close. That's Two like. Two tenths of a second. Superstar. Like, dude. Legit. <laughs> legit. Dude. Oh, so stoked go. after the last three weeks of just nonstop work on this thing coming up. Barely made it. <laughs> we came up. Oh, uh, I, I had to let qualify me say this. full weight. What? Yeah, so this guy, we watch him coming in, and I said to my buddies, I'm like, crap, the qualifying's over in five minutes. He'll never be able to do it. He's full of bags. He's got whatever fuel on board. He's not prepped for qualifying. And someone gets on the radio and says, Trent, you have to race right now to qualify. You're out of the whole event. And you said, <laughs> I, I got to get I got all my bags. I can't do it. He says, do it or you're out. He qualifies loaded. And then comes barely in. flown the thing. Yeah, I right did after my, Bill. my phase one yesterday morning, and I was just burning time. Oh my god! So that was my first time re even pushing it. Way to go! <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, something about you and I finishing moments before. Yeah. And then going out and competing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Way to go! That yes. was awesome. Good time. <laughs> Dude, I gave you kill killer. Yeah. Dude, was that awesome? That was awesome. <laughs> Congrats, man! You guys. That, was awesome. that was fun. I'm so stoked. It's incredible. and you almost didn't let me run. He almost didn't let me go. I actually held Sunset <laughs> off for you to get your ass in here so you could run <laughs> and qualify. Thank the man. Yeah. That's awesome. So awesome. Dude. Oh, Cup so killer stoked. in the house. <laughs>
Scott Palmer. What's up, champion Trent Palmer? <laughs> I'm not champion. Dude, we had Palmer Palmer today. That I was know. Sick, huh? That was so fun. That <laughs> was so fun. Oh. Uh, High Sierra is pretty cool, no? This is your first time. First time here. Oh my god. The best possible outcome of this event was you and Trent, Drenko versus Freedom Fox. <laughs> well, I mean, you like, couldn't, I you mean, couldn't even really. dream of it. You got the lightest, about the most affordable, lightweight, you know, airplane you could build yourself and the most extreme, big, expensive airplane you could have head to head. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that doesn't like, happen. Not yeah. rigged at all. Like, <laughs> legit race, <laughs> and it was, Awesome. If you're saying, look, the whole goal of all this is to encourage general aviation, help people realize it doesn't matter how much money you have, don't have, where you are in life, your age, whatever, and say, we want everyone to come out and play. You've got all these people that are pilots, non-pilots, like following Draco, Trent Palmer's Trent Palmer. It's got everybody <laughs> following him. And it's like, if you're gonna say, what's the best thing in the world is you have the world championships and you end up with Draco and Trent Palmer and it legitimately happened. Like, it yeah, really, no, it really, really happened. happened. Not only that, but Trent rolls up yesterday, surprising all of us. He didn't, he wasn't answering my text. I asked him what his status is. He says married because he wasn't even telling <laughs> when he was coming. Like my <laughs> he, just, he lands this time last night, you know, just after sunset. So he qualifies eighth place, like not even oh. the bottom of the pack, in the middle. And just with like, the that bomb. was just like, Second and third landing in the plane was <laughs> and like since this new mod the most spectator friendly racing possible. No, that was, yeah. is what happened that was today. Fun. It, it just fun. could not have been better just... for publicity and for everything. It was just fun. Way to go. That was way too fun. You guys are too nice to me, but that was so fun. <laughs> Good God, time. that was fun. That was so look at all these people still here. Yeah. I know. I know. This is huge. That's the other thing too. I think they said last night, what, we had 350, or 350 planes, I don't know how many people. Today, I guarantee it's bigger. This fly-in is, Legit. it's the thing. This is not yeah. an airport. There are no buildings. <laughs> there is no running water. We're <laughs> dozens of miles from the nearest fuel pumps or anything. I mean, this is a dedicated group of individuals coming yeah. out here for this event. Yep. The best sure. event. Well, yeah, the best, best in places the we best shouldn't have it. <laughs> We did it, it was incredible. We have some incredible racers. We had some incredible talent there today. And uh, I couldn't be more proud. I looked down the line and there was, I'm guessing a thousand people on the line. And uh, yeah. that may be an exaggeration, but I asked somebody and there's, you know, 800 to a thousand people here. It's incredible. We came here, there's the Red Wilga. We've got the Kit Fox, we've got a Carbon Cub. Aviation is growing, but that aircraft in particular is an incredible beast. And then to come here and do what it does at the Stoll Drag, it's incredible. But then you throw out what Trent did and what Toby did and being competitive with this. I mean, we're a few seconds behind it. All these guys. Awesome. Toby Ashley, third place in his carbon code. Second place is a story in itself. Trent Palmer didn't think he was coming to the ICR flying three days ago. I don't even think he thought he was coming here two days ago. He shows up last night when we're doing our our time trials. My air boss is telling me we're done. It's we're done. We can't see anymore. I'm like, we're not done. <laughs> Trent's coming. I hear flight of three, Freedom Fox inbound. Oh, we got at least two more time trials. We gotta make this happen. He's one of my best friends, and so we got to extend as long as we can if we have an opportunity to make it happen. Obviously not to uh, put safety on the line, but Trent comes in, he doesn't even unload his airplane, he qualified seventh. Awesome. Yeah. Good and heavy airplane. He starts off the race today going through all the brackets, and next thing you know, guess who he gets to line up next to? Last year's world champion. <laughs> And that was a race. That was awesome. That was an incredible, incredible race. That was so good. I think we even had to do a redo because it was so darn close, which was pretty awesome. And so at any rate, Trent advances. He ends up coming next to Draco. And uh, Trent Palmer, second place, stole drag.
Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So <laughs> And now this next one, obviously, the Draco. It is an incredible, incredible story. If you have not followed along on Mike's blog, the story that he's put in, the time that he's put in, the energy, he did this with his own bare hands. He didn't go out and hire somebody to do it. He's done it. And what he's done with other aircraft, it's incredible. He's, a, he's gonna be in the Aviation Hall of Fame at some point, I Yo, promise yeah. you. Oh, or is he already? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. He has been recognized. That was my case. Mike Patey, first place, Red Wilga, Draco. So we have a tradition here at High Sierra. Last year's champion, Mark Beatty in the Carbon Cub, was awarded the Stoll Drag title belt. But this year, guess what happens? Mark's got to put the title belt on Brother Mike. This belt needs to come back. They're going to go and do some fun things to it, and uh, it'll come back, and it'll be on somebody's waist again next year.